Daddy, played by Hanley Stafford, has had a hard day at the office. He's trying to read his newspaper in the study, but Snooks has been constantly running in and out. Daddy's patience is rapidly becoming exhausted. Listen. Kid can't sit still a minute. Like trying to rest in a boiler factory. Oh, here she comes again. <laughs> Excuse me, Daddy. Snooks, you've been in and out of this room for ten times. Have I? Yes, and every time you come back, you cross between my feet and the chair they're resting on. I don't like it. Why? Because I don't like having to take my feet off. Can you take your feet off, Daddy? I mean off the chair. Why don't you walk around me? It's too easy. I thought so. Well, I'm warning you, don't disturb me anymore. Understand? Understand. Oh, stop that singing. Um, all right. Daddy. What is it? Who's London? London is the name of a city. Ain't it a man? No. Then why is it British for him now? It's not British. It's Bridge. London Bridge. Did you hear something? It's that kid of yours. Robespierre. He's crying. I'll see what it is. Yeah! All he does is holler. Yeah! Snow, what do you think? What? You can't imagine what's happened to little Robespierre. His nose dropped off. No, he's got a tooth. His first tooth. Come and have a look at it. Who? Your little brother. I ain't got no little brother. You haven't got a little brother. No, I divorced him. I never heard of such nonsense. Snooks, I can't understand why you don't show any affection at all for little Robespierre. I don't like him. Well, why not? He hollers too much. Well, of course he cries a lot. But that's only his way of letting us know that he wants something. Well, why don't he ask for it? Snooks, you know as well as I do that infants can't talk. Why? Because nobody talks until he's at least a year old. That ain't what you said to Uncle Louie. What did I say to Uncle Louie? You said you cursed the day you was born. That has nothing to do with it. Come on and have a look at your brother's new tooth. No. Pull it out and bring it here. You little savage. You'll be sorry for treating your brother like this. Why? He's crying. I'm going in there. Are you coming? All right. But I'll only take a quick look. Don't make too much noise. He's still half asleep. He stopped, Daddy. Yes. Shh. Look at that little angel. <laughs> what a beautiful complexion. Looks like a lobster. <laughs> well, he is a little red. His only baby's face is red. Oh, no. Sometimes grown people's faces get red. Yeah. Why? Oh, for various reasons. Mostly a person's face turns red when he's ashamed. Oh. Daddy? Yes? Why does Uncle Louie only get ashamed in his nose? We won't discuss that now. Why? Shh. Maybe Robespierre will open his mouth. Then you can see his tooth. Stick a pin in him. I should say not. How can you think of hurting that little mite? He's so sweet and innocent. Snooks, take a good look at him. You know? You may be looking at a future president. I wonder what the fates have in store for him. Maybe he'll be a famous artist or a physician. I know he's going to make us all proud. You'll be happy to point him out as your brother. <laughs> look at that firm little chin. That well-shaped head. Ah, oh, what a child. Snooks, you're thinking, aren't you? Yes, Daddy. Well, I thought so. What are you thinking about? How long is a snake's tail? <laughs> ah, you haven't got an ounce of sentiment in your body. <laughs> ah, he's boring again. Oh, look, look, Snooks. Right there in front. See the tooth? Isn't it wonderful? What's wonderful about it? Well, it's his first tooth. Can he take it out? Oh, of course not. Nobody takes the teeth out. You always say... Never mind that. <laughs> My teeth have nothing to do with you. Why you put them in a the glass? No. <laughs> well, I'll thank you not to bandy my teeth about. I'm not as young as I used to be, and these things happen. 
Why? Well, let me explain something to you. To begin with, whether you like it or not, in a very short time, all of your teeth will fall out. <laughs> I like it. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'll stick them in a pumpkin for Halloween. <laughs> very fine. All I'm trying to tell you is that your mouth is full of deciduous teeth. I don't taste nothing. Well, of course not. It just means you lose them. They are milk teeth. Can I milk them? No. And remember, sir, when a tooth falls out, put it under your pillow. What for? Well, a brownie will come while you're asleep and turn the tooth into a dime. I want to put one out now. Oh, don't be silly. I'm just trying to impress on your mind that teeth are vitally important to your health. You know how many types of teeth there are? No. Well, there's the incisors, the canines, the bicuspids, the molars, and later on you'll get wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth? Yes. When did you get yours? Mine came very late. As a matter of fact, I didn't get my wisdom teeth until uh, after I was married. Too late, huh? <laughs> it's not necessary to make those remarks. Young kids uncanny. Uh -huh. Nothing. Snooks! Don't try to loosen your teeth. Can't I pull one out? What for? I want the brownie to change it into a dime. Oh, your teeth are still too tight. You'll have to be patient. Oh. It's Ropes Pierre's teeth looser than mine. Oh, I suppose so. Now, let's go back to the study. You go, Daddy. I want to stay here a little while. <laughs> Snooks. What have you got in your mind? Nothing. Are you thinking of tampering with the baby's tooth? Who, me? Now, don't put on that innocent face. Were you actually going to... to... Oh, I can't say it. I can say it, Danny. Pull a baby's tooth. No, you weren't. <laughs> Does he eat me? No. Well, get the idea. I think I do. Uh, Snooks, uh, step outside with me. You, uh, realize what terrible thoughts you've been harboring? Uh-huh. Is there anything you'd care to say in your defense? No. Shall I turn over? There's no alternative. Ain't it awful? Uh -huh. Here we go again. Ah! <laughs>